Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I I want everybody in the room just to close your eyes for me. And I want you just to begin to think about when I say the term Marvel and when I say the term DC, right, I I want you to think about who's the first superhero that comes to mind. I know in the keynote session we're talking about AI and artificial intelligence and all that, but I think each and every one of us has somebody that we've looked up to at some point in our life. We have that individual that we would call a superhero. I really want you just to envision who that person is. Now, I want you to go ahead. Just, you can open your eyes. You can go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you for, for humoring me in that. So when we think about superheroes, or sheroes, if you will, I mean, there's all these people that come to mind. Somebody might say, well, they're, they're Superman, because that was one of mine growing up. I was like, Superman, you know, he's cool. But then somebody in the back might say, but John, I like, I like Catwoman. And I'll say, I don't know if she was a superhero. She might have, might have been a villain. Maybe on the other side. But hey. And then somebody might say, well, there's Captain Marvel, all these other characters. But you can't forget one. Wakanda forever, right? Wakanda forever, Miss Tracy Brown. And then we think about all these characters, but when I was growing up, we're talking about self-actualization today, which I believe just, I'm going to give you just a short definition of it. I think it's somebody coming in their gifts. For me, these characters were great, but they were too far off. They weren't tangible enough for me. So my superhero was this guy by the name of Freddie Jones. He's my older brother. You really can't tell by this picture because we look like we're the same height. But we're sitting down, so. But we went back and forth with height, back and forth, back and forth. And some of you in here, I know you might have an older brother, older sister, siblings, etc. Parents, whoever you looked up to. And then you would find yourself running behind this person. You see mom getting dressed. You put on her shoes, put on her lipstick. You see dad in the mirror shaving. You try to do the same thing. And then we find ourselves sometimes getting lost in these individual shadows. Would you all agree? Say yes. yes. There we go. And then it got to a point where I began to get a little bit older. We can fast forward time from here to here. And then we see I got taller and he really got shorter. And then I realized that I grew out of his shadow. I couldn't try to hide and be in his shadow anymore. I couldn't try to play baseball because he was good at baseball. I couldn't try to follow behind him and do basketball because I wasn't even that good at it. And then he was all state musician, band. He would wake up and just go and just perform. And I'm like, dude, I couldn't even read sheet music. But still, I was in band. So I had to take an L there. (laughs) But when we began to talk about self-actualization and coming to our own, today, I don't know what it is that's inside of you. But I believe each of you has a seed of some sort. We can go as far as to call it a gift, because that's just what I believe, personal perspective. But each and every one of you in this room, you're somebody's superhero. I don't know, has anybody ever looked at you and told you that there's going to be some times that you began to run a race in your life, and you're going to finish in last place because you're running in the wrong race? When we began to talk about comparison being a thief of all joy and we start to compare our gift to other people's gifts, then we start to see, Ashley, that we're not even doing the same. Miss Tracy Brown, I'm trying to compete, but I'm going to lose because that's your lane. And as we begin to identify the gifts, as we come into that potential, as we break and grow out of that shadow that sometimes somebody might have tried to put us in, the box that somebody tried to give you, 
that you didn't ask for. You're like, no, 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 that, that's not me. Nicole, you're like, no, nah, that's not, no, I don't want to do that. But they're like, no, you need to do this. No, but I don't, mm -mm. So I just wanted to just leave you with just three questions. And for those who are identifying what self-actualization looks like for them, they're identifying what that passion project is, you're identifying what you need to do next in your life, you're trying to just figure out where do I go next? Because we talk about purpose, it's such a, it's powerful. It's a powerful buzzword, purpose. What is your purpose? Your purpose is serving people. The vehicle you use to get to that purpose, that's a whole, that's a whole different beast. So I just want to ask you just these three questions. I would encourage you just to screenshot it, or you can jot them down, but just something to process through. Who am I serving? There was a point in time I was just going from job to job, from place to place. I was at one point delivering phone books from door to door in Texas heat in the summer. Anybody else in the room ever delivered phone books before? Oh, it was just me? Okay. It was, it was, a, it was a low percentage choice. But who was I serving? I didn't know. I'm going door to door. I don't know who behind the door. I don't care who's behind the door. I'm just trying to just do this job so I can check out these apartments and say I did it so I can give me my check. But now somebody asked me, who am, I, who am I serving? I serve students and I serve millennials because that's who I speak to. I love giving tangible self-help strategies, i.e. self-reflection type questions. The second one, what am I creating? Everybody in here has the ability that is so much greater than a bird, so much greater than a dog, than a cat. Even a chimpanzee, even though I know they're pretty intelligent. But we have the ability to create what we desire to create. If somebody here says, I'm going to get a business, Victoria, they can go the next day and create a business. Who's going to stop you? You. Who's going to stop you? Your mindset. And then lastly, what am I scared of? Somebody looking like, John, that, that don't got nothing to do with nothing. That doesn't even matter. My fears don't got nothing to do with this, and I'm not even about to tell you. You don't have to tell me your fears. But sometimes your fear is success. And I'm not even talking about money. But I want us just to be encouraged and understand that there's a point in a time to where when we realize that mapping out our life, we see what we're scared of. When we figure out a way to cancel that out, then what's stopping you from creating the impact that you desire to make in your own life, but better yet, in the generation's life behind you. Because there's so many people who are just looking for permission to own their gift. There's people who are waiting to wa watch you walk in your lane just so that they can follow behind you, get a coattail, you can mentor them, and then they can do the same thing, just reach back. Just reach back. They can reach their hand down to pull somebody else up. Somebody needs to see what a healthy marriage looks like in your purpose. Your gift might be being an excellent mother. And that's OK. Is there a gift that's better than another? No, there's not. But when we just play that comparison game, I'm not talking. I'm talking for me because I know I did it. I would just compare. Oh, no, I, I should be there. I should be doing I'm better than that person. Why aren't I right there? That's, don't nobody even like them? No way. They don't got no followers. Y'all know. Y'all know. But I just want us to understand in the room, I want you just to look down the road and just imagine yourself 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, being able to look back and being able to say, I am a superhero. Because what do superheroes do? They fight for the greater good. And each and every one of you in here, you have a superpower. But it's just time to unlock that potential. It's just time to release that beast.